Welcome back. Governor Phil Scott says there's work to be done to address the opioid epidemic in Vermont. He joined housing leaders this afternoon to discuss the need for more recovering housing. Now this comes after a new report found Vermont has the highest rate of substance abuse disorders in the country. Local 22's Courtney Kramer in the newsroom now with more. Hi, Courtney. Well, good evening, Glenn and Lauren. Officials say having a home is a critical first step in recovery, and they plan to develop 12 new recovery residences across the state by the end of 2020. Now, it's a place dedicated to helping people transition from treatment programs back to their day-to-day -day lives. Currently, there's 212 beds available in the state, but officials say that only serves 2% of the need. Adding the new residences would increase that number to 14%. The report also found that the majority of the beds are located in Chittenden County, even though rural regions are just as affected by substance use disorders. And with more than 50,000 Vermonters suffering, Governor Scott said there's a lot of work to be done. Our success will be counted one life at a time. A young man in recovery going back to work. A mother seeing the light in the eyes of a child once thought lost forever. A community free from fear of crime and violence and one less child brought into this world affected by addiction. Now officials also took a moment to celebrate the significant drop in opioid deaths in Chittenden County, which fell from 35 in 2017 to 17 last year. That's the lowest number since the state started tracking back in 2013. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.